Hello and welcome to Project-Wise Administrator Fundamentals Accreditation Course, Flat Sets. In this lesson, we will learn what is a flat set. We will go through the process of creating a flat set and modify its contents. Then we will explore the different occasions where project-wise flat sets can be utilized. As we know, project-wise documents are just like normal files that we work with. Flat set, on the other hand, is a special type of document that really doesn't have a file. All it is, is just a container that holds the project-wise document links. We may have team members just starting to work on the project. It may be a little bit overwhelming to new project team members to navigate to the folder structure and find where the project files are located, such as office templates and CAD border files. So what we will do is we will create a flat set at the project root level that will point to all the essential documents that new project team members will find it useful. Let's go to the multi-use project root folder and then in the document list area, we are going to right mouse click, set, new. We will give a name for the flat set, read me first. The description is optional, but here we are going to enter the description for new project team members and hit OK. A dialog window opens. Make sure we don't close it. If we do, it won't be created until there is at least one document link is included in the flat set. We can go to the office document template folder, choose the two office documents, drag it and then drop it into the flat set window. Then we can go to the title block border folder. We are going to bring in a title block CAD file and drop it into the flat set window as well. Some obvious things that we notice with the flat set window is that firstly, it utilizes the active view that we have in our project wise session. If another team member is working on one of these documents, it will be automatically reflected in the out to column. The column filters are also available. If we need to filter out documents that we want to display on the screen, we can simply just type it in the information that we want to see. But in this case, we want to see all the document links that is in the flat set. So we are going to go and clear this out and have all the document links display in the flat set. The log to version column. Similar to the CAD reference links, project-wise by default, we have links within the flat set to point to the latest version of documents. If we don't want this behavior for a particular document, we can enable this option. So for example, the material Excel file. If we enable the log to version for this file, later on, if there are multiple versions or iterations of this Excel document, this link will only log to the version when it was first created in the flat set. It will be clear to us when we see the difference between the document links in the flat set. If we want this behavior log to version to be automatically set for all document links, there is a configuration that we can change in the administrator module. From the data source, right mouse click properties, go to the settings tab, scroll down to versions, enable this option, lock flat set documents to versions. By enabling this, when project-wise create flat sets, it will not create links to point to the latest versions of the documents. Now that we have a flat set created, let's go ahead and see what it looks like. So go ahead and close this out. Go to the project root folder. The flat set document is represented by a slightly different icon. We can double click on it and it will show us the content of the flat set. As we can see, the document that didn't have the log to version enabled will always point to the latest version of the document. Remember with the version column, when it is not blank, along with the pencil icon next to the document, give us a clue 
that it is the latest version. On the other hand, the Excel file, which we have enabled earlier, the log2 version, even though there is a later version of this Excel file, but it is not reflected in the flat set. One other reason we can tell it is not pointing to the latest version is that previously this file has a pencil icon and now it has an open book icon associated next to it. If we need to add more documents to the flat set, it will be just selecting the document, drag and drop it into the flat set window. If a document was added to the set by mistake or no longer need to be in the set, we can simply select the document, right mouse click, set, remove from set. Yes, we do want this document link to be removed from the flat set. We are not deleting the document. Go ahead and click yes. Users will need specific permission to add and remove document links from the flat set. And it can be found under tools, options, on the settings tab, user interface, the option can edit sets. Let's go ahead and disable that and hit OK. Once that option is disabled, if we try to add the document into the flat set window, we will receive an error because we don't have permission to do so. Similarly, we cannot remove document link from the flat set as it is grayed out. Let's go back and re-enable that option again. After that option has been enabled, we should be able to remove the Excel link from the flat set. So let's go ahead and do that. Right mouse click, set, remove from set, and choose yes. Let's go ahead and close the flat set window. Now that we know what a flat set is and how to create and modify one, but what are the reasons and how flat set can be used? Well, there are multiple cases where we can prove flat sets can be quite useful. For instance, if we are the creator of the flat set and there are minor changes to the documents within the flat set, we can simply right mouse click on the flat set and select check out. Once we check out the flat set, all the documents within the flat set will be checked out as well. So now we can make changes to the documents within the flat set. Let's go ahead and close out the flat set window and we are going to free the flat set as well. Another use of the flat set is that if some project team members who do not have access to ProjectWise yet and they need to see these documents, we can download them from ProjectWise and send them the documents via email attachment. We can select the flat set, right mouse click, export. If these documents will get modified and bring back to ProjectWise at a later stage, we will need to choose the export option. Since these project team members need these documents for viewing purpose only, and they do not require to make changes to these documents. So simply select send to folder and then click next. We can click on the browse button to choose the folder location where we want these documents to be downloaded to. In this case, we are going to download the files into the specified location. Go ahead and click next. Now we know that the files has been downloaded. We can enable this option and click on finish. It is now confirmed that the documents have been downloaded to this folder location. In a separate lesson, we will cover PDF renditions. We will briefly discuss how PDFs can be generated using project-wise documents and also flat set can be used to generate a multi-page PDF. During this lesson, we have learned what is a flat set and how flat sets can be utilized in project-wise. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.